With the story mode being absent from F1 2020, being replaced by the much anticipated My Team mode, F1 2021 gives players the best of all worlds. The usual career mode, My Team once again, the new two player career, and the grand return of that previously absent story mode. Breaking Point takes place across three seasons, opening at the tail end of the 2019 F2 season, then through segments of 2020 and 2021's F1 calendar. Playing as soon-to-be F2 champion Aidan Jackson, you pick which midfield F1 team he's promoted to to race alongside ice-cold F1 veteran Kasper Ackermann. Choosing from either Alpha Tauri, Alfa Romeo, Racing Point who become Aston Martin, Williams or Haas. The devious Devon Butler last seen in F1 2019 makes a comeback too and he'll drive for a different one of those five teams. From what we can tell, he'll drive for a specific team based on the decision you make. You pick Williams, he'll drive for Racing Point. Pick Alfa Romeo, he's in an Alfa Tauri. You're in a Haas, he's in a Williams. Racing Point, Alfa Romeo. Decide on an Alfa Tauri and he'll be in a Haas. This might swing your team decision to gain an advantage over Devon by putting him in a slower car, but that doesn't actually work in practice, but you do have a way you can influence the AI's behaviour. Unlike the rest of F1 2021's difficulty settings, which returns as the slider from 0 to 100, Breaking Point sees you choose from three options, normal, challenging and hard. Each comes with a set of preset assists, which you can change of course, but it also dictates how tough the other drivers will be. While Breaking Point does indeed have a big focus on partaking in races, it's not as straightforward as doing a season under an existing constructor or creating your own in my team. You'll find yourself doing segments of races instead of the full thing, at least that's what we've had in our hour-long hands-on. It's a great place to start if you're new to the F1 games, or you're wanting to get your head around the feel of F1 2021 before going deeper into the longer races either in single player or online. While we'll get to how things feel in our full review of F1 2021, which will be coming soon, let's stick to Aidan Jackson's story. Paired up with veteran Cass Ackerman at whatever team you pick, things don't go swimmingly during his debut race in Australia, thanks to a bit of overenthusiasm, with a dash of Devon Butler being a typical bumhole. Here comes Butler, three abreast going into turn 11, on oh, this can't work, and it doesn't! Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well! This sets the scene for how Breaking Point plays out. Chunks of races intercut with cutscenes, phone calls, and the ability to read emails and check social media, which features many well-known content creators in the racing space, just not traction. It contextualizes Aiden Jackson as a quote-unquote real F1 driver, not just being a name hovering above a car, and puts you, the player, right in the middle of it. The success, the controversy, people being dicks in the paddock, you know, F1. It's as if Drive to Survive got a video game, but that rivalry, that tension between teammates hasn't been doctored. Shots fired. Jackson and Ackerman don't start their career together on the best terms, and events transpire to further push the two apart. During these segments of races, you're given a certain objective to complete, be it to catch up with your teammates, complete the race, or finish in the points. Overall, the experience so far has been really engrossing, having a nice mix of gameplay and narrative, and not throwing you straight in the deep end as soon as the lights go out. I'll be honest, I could not put Breaking Point down. While I can only tell you about this first hour of play, which features three gameplay segments and a plethora of cutscenes and reading material to dig into, I found myself glued to our rig, seeing how the stories of Aiden and Cass unfolded, and how much more Devon gets involved, and how team liaison Brian and Cass's wife Zoe fit into the mix. No spoilers for that of course, not like I can talk about it anyway, but from what I've played, I cannot recommend Breaking Point enough. While some pick up these annual titles for the gameplay tweaks, new teams, circuits, and to follow the rest of the multiplayer crowd to the new incumbent title, it's definitely worth giving Breaking Point a go. It should be a couple of hours long, and actually quite surprised me. I didn't know how much I'd be invested in a story featuring fictional characters set within an already established, real world of drivers we know and love, but as said, I was glued to the track. There is a lot to love about Breaking Point, obviously I've just rambled about it now, so yeah, but it's not absolutely perfect. There are a few things that don't sit completely right, but before I dive into specifics, none of these are game-breaking issues, so do not immediately disregard all the good I've just gushed. For example, the contextual titles when you start up a gameplay segment are great, but why not have the objective come up center screen too before control is handed back to you? Your objective comes up on one side, and since you're more likely listening to the dialogue between Aiden and Jeff and waiting for the HUD lights to go out, you might miss what you actually need to do. Also, while the character models in the pre-rendered cutscenes look really good, the facial animations leave a little bit to be desired. We're not on Mass Effect Andromeda levels here, but you do find these guys burying their teeth during dialogue probably more than they should. 
Also, since this might be your first look at in-game animations in F1 2021, unfortunately it looks like the majority of the victory and podium sequences have been recycled from 2020's title. Of course, this version of Breaking Point I've been playing is technically pre-release, so tweaks could still be done prior to the game launching next week. I am really excited to see what comes from the rest of Breaking Point's narrative, and I am hoping we see Aiden's story continue into either new chapters added in F1 2021, or whether we pick up where Breaking Point left off in F1 2022. I'm not exactly sure how Breaking Point ends yet, so I've still got that to look forward to. That is our quick preview of F1 2021's Breaking Point. Are you excited to pick this up and give this a go, or are you going to jump straight on the multiplayer? Let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to the Traction channel if you haven't already, and ring the bell for notifications as I can tell you we've got a lot of F1 2021 content coming your way. It would mean a huge amount if you stuck around, so do consider dropping us a sub. Thank you very much for watching, keep it pinned, and I'll see you next time.